Yo, what is going on, everybody? Llama here. We are back with some MLB season. Yeah, MLB 16 the show. I'm not going to restart that even though I just stuttered really quickly into it. But anyways, we are at the trade deadline and we're going to try to make a trade here since our starting rotation sucks. I was checking out the free agents, but nobody really available. I think Cliff Lee was the best one and they wanted... I couldn't get under six and a half million a year for him, which we couldn't afford. So you can see I'm going to trade these two prospects. We've got a pitching prospect and a shortstop prospect to the Tampa Bay Rays for Alex Cobb here, which they will take. So we get an 84 overall pitcher in exchange for two uh, pretty decent prospects. I think the one had a B potential and the other had a C potential. So when you're making trades, it's really what you want to look like look at is the potential of the players. But you can see our uh, rotations pretty stacked now. Liriano is like our third guy. Lincecum's got a 78 overall and he's number four. So um, pitching rotation should be good. We're like seven out of the division, six and a half out of the wild card. So hopefully we can get something going this season. I think our roster's pretty good. Um, I was gonna look for a first baseman, but John Jaso is our first baseman currently, and his uh, overall is pretty high. So I was like, I'll just stick with him for the year, and hopefully we can uh, make the playoffs with the team we got. But yeah, anytime you're making trades in franchise mode. Um, if you don't want to give up a lot of your good players, look at your prospects, not necessarily their overall, but it's going to say potential, uh, player potential, and then their age. If they're real young and have a high potential, you're going to get a lot of uh, value for them. So those are the real valuable prospects. You want to make trades, like I said, and then you always want to make trades, um, or at least I do, to crappier teams who are more willing to unload some of their all-star players and some of their better players, get rid of their salary in exchange to uh, pick up some prospects to help start building for the future. So, made a good trade with the Rays there, who, like I said, aren't a great team. And, uh, I mean, they were great for years, but they just don't want to spend money like the Pirates, and they're in a pretty stacked division. So, go ahead and get a nice starting pitcher from them. And he is starting this game for us, as you can see. It is 6-6. 6-6. Six, six. It is 0-0 zero, zero at the bottom of the 6. Andrew McCutcheon with the first run of the game as he hits that solo shot into the uh, bullpen in deep center field. So, sh uh, shutout game for uh, first six innings, and McCutcheon is finally able to break the 0-0 zero, zero tie. There you can see, fortunately, no one was on base for him, but get a nice little run there. Now you can see next batter is John Jaso, who is up. Same inning. There are two on, one out. That one is going to be bobbled in right field, and that is going to allow one run to come home to score, and the other runner is going to take third base. Now we've got runners on the corners. No outs. As you can see, Kong scores uh, pretty easily after that uh, bobbled play, which I think is rolled a base hit and then a fielding error. So uh, we get lucky there. So now we've got runners on the corners, one out. See if we can get a sack fly going with our next player. And then, of course, the 2 nothing lead. So, I don't know, for hitting in this game, the difficulty's gone up pretty good now, so there was something wrong with the dynamic difficulty. For like the first week it was out, it just wouldn't move at all, so it was stuck on rookie for hitting and for uh, pitching, but it finally started to move. I don't know if they put a uh, update out for the game or what, but it works now, and it works in Road to the Show as well. So here you can see, I thought I had the sack fly with Harrison, it was really shallow. Uh, Cervelli takes off, he has no speed, and is thrown out easily, I think they ball got to the plate before he was even uh, a few steps in front of it so that was a stupid play but Alex Cobb is coming back to pitch the ninth inning as you can see that was his 98th pitch of the game he's got this batter in a full count see if he can get the complete game shut out for us which is what I would like to do he's clinging to a nice little uh, two run lead here so if he puts too many guys on or puts somebody in scoring position I'll probably go to the pen get Mark Melanson in to close but really wanted to get the complete game with this guy in his first game uh, with the Pirates after we made the trade so they've got one on that ball is going to be popped up to deep left field, and Starling Marte is going to get under it. I think Marte is in left field. Yeah, Marte is in left. Polanco is in right. So Marte gets under it. Who's got a really good overall, and I actually think I am going to change my batting lineup. I've seen in real life the Pirates are hitting Marte third, McCutcheon second. I think I'm hitting Marte first, but he's got more power than uh, Kong. So I'm going to go Kong, McCutcheon, Marte for my top three, and then I think I have Cervelli bat and clean up. Jaso after him, so... I mean, the top of our hitting lineup is really good. The bottom half could definitely use some work. But that one, like I said, trying to get the complete game shut out. That's over as that ball is hit into the gap in uh, deep right center field there. So I think that's going to be it for Cobb. I really didn't want to uh, have him blow this. I wanted to still pick up the lead, which sucks. Nine and two-third for him. 109 pitches. We're going to bring Mark Melanson in. He's pretty cold because usually I'll uh, put somebody in the bullpen, do a mound visit, which lets them warm up. But I forgot to do a mound visit. I just went right to him. So he's pitching cold here. 2-2 is the count to Robinson Cano. He's going to get him to swing and miss that nice cut fastball uh, inside. So we pick up the 2-1 win. Get a nice little trade here. Like I said, Cobb, 8 and 2 thirds, uh, 11 Ks, 4 walks, just 2 hits on him. So tremendous game for him. His record improves to 13 and 3. I actually like in this game they keep their records. It's not like if they uh, 
American League team uh, guy gets traded to the AL use of their stats reset, but they just keep him in for this game, which is kind of cool. So you can see how good of a season he was having. Like I said, 2-1 win, uh, 7 hits for us. They had just 2, and of course the error that definitely cost them the game. So that is it, guys. More videos coming soon, so thanks for watching.